All right, I'm over at Blueberry Park testing out this uh, wind guard that I have for the mic. I went to a place that sells fabric and got some faux fur and some little Velcro stickies and uh, did all that and it seems to be working but this is my first actual real test on it so but I figure since I'm out here I'll talk about something else <laughs> so besides the fact that I smell sewage um to my last video that had some content to it where I'm talking about online bullying there were some people that were actually saying that uh, there's no such thing as online bullying and I'm like well there's no such thing as online violence but online bullying definitely exists oh it's in the eye of the beholder well a lot of these feminists and SJWs do get their panties in the bind over almost anything. While they think they can say something that's actually bullying to someone else, and then if they defend themselves against it, they're like, you're bullying me. Um, no, you started the bullying by making these claims about someone else that aren't true. So... The thing is, when you're talking about online, there's a record of who said what first. So, if someone actually did start it, well, it's on record that they started it. So, um, and then there was someone else that's telling me that because I think that reasonable moderation is a good thing, that I don't believe in freedom of speech. And like, <laughs> I don't think anyone should be arrested or fined for saying something, really anything, even if it's hate speech. I don't think people should be arrested or fined for that. I think that's bullshit. And in that regard, I believe in freedom of speech. I also believe that places that are online should be able to be moderated. I mean, can you think of anywhere online where people just talk about a number of subjects that's completely unmoderated that doesn't become something like 4chan. And if you're saying, well, just let it become like 4chan, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Nothing gets done in 4chan. 4chan's this glamorization of <laughs> elementary school uh, playground bullying. You know? Minus the, the violence part of it, but just... I mean, it's like a bunch of elementary school kids. And yes, I, uh, as I've said before, we never really grow up, but the thing that, that gives the image of us growing up is the fact that we learn how to moderate to some degree. I mean, if the whole internet was like 4chan, I mean, there'd be no reason to go on it. Unless you're just going on it to bully, because the people that have the bullying mindset will pretty much run the roost. They'll rule the roost. Nobody could get anything done. Nobody could say anything. I mean, if you're actually arguing that businesses should not be allowed to moderate their website, <laughs> 
Do you realize how much big government that is? That's, that's huge, huge government. That's the government stepping in and telling businesses what they can and cannot do on a website. You think that's the government's job? <laughs> now, if we're talking about schools that are paid for with taxes, that some, you know, that some of the pay that the schools get is from taxes, yeah, I can understand not telling people, you know, not trying to moderate things. That makes sense. You know, if it's a government website, I can see the same thing. But if you... <laughs> if we started to shove forth that businesses, you know, websites can't have any moderation on them. <laughs> you know, say goodbye to being able to make comments on news articles. Say goodbye to having your say on almost anywhere on the net. Unless it's specifically a spot designed for that. And then it'll be just like 4chan. Yay! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Talk about... Uh, the only information you can get that isn't like 4chan is from some corporate, <laughs> corporate type of news. <laughs> Man, I mean, that would be a mess. <laughs> oh, oh, we'd, we'd figure it out. We'd figure out how to work with the 4chan kind of mindset. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> discussions would be shut down, period. There'd be, there'd be no point in anyone having a discussion. Most people wouldn't bother. <laughs> you think Facebook is bad now? You think Google Plus is bad now? You think Twitter is bad now? <laughs> Nobody who would actually want to discuss anything would want to go to those sites anymore. <laughs> Big government deeply in, in websites and the way they're supposed to be run. And they're required to be run in a way that reasonable discussion can't happen anymore. No, that's crap. Anyone shoving this sort of thing forth, look all the way down the line of what you're actually supporting. Okay? <laughs> and what's funny is, I got told by one person that I'm being like McCarthy because I think it's a good thing to moderate forums and, and the comments on websites. I'm being like McCarthy? Well... <laughs> so, that person tells me I'm like McCarthy on that side, and someone named whose first name is Jeff was saying I'm being like McCarthy because I think people should be able to record public events whether or not they're supposed to be safe spaces or not. Oh, I'm being McCarthy because of that. <laughs> so, I guess, to some people, no matter what you say about anything, politics, well, you're being like McCarthy. How about God-winning things now, right? Why not just go all the way there, you know? <laughs> because I believe forums are best when they're moderated? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine, <laughs> imagine a Google Hangout where people are trying to discuss things and some jackass comes in and just starts <laughs> yelling, <laughs> I'm a bird, Obama is the devil, 
<laughs> uh, the earth is flat. And every time they, they try to... Uh, uh, every time tr someone tries to discuss things with them, they just keep interrupting things. Well, we should just keep letting them interrupt things. Because, you know, moderation is a violation of our free speech. You know, after all, you know, that sort of shit. So, you know, it's... You guys got to realize what it is you're actually supporting when you're, when you're saying this. There's a point when the principles that someone wants to shove forth don't work in reality. And you have to know when you have to, when you need to compromise your principles at certain times. No set of principles is going to be perfect. None of them. No set of principles will be perfect. There will always, always be something, some sort of situation that will make you have to compromise them a little bit. And if the things that, if, <laughs> if an overwhelming majority of situations make you have to question, make you have to compromise your principles, maybe you should question your principles a little bit. Maybe you're being a bit unreasonable. If it's a very small minority of situations that make you have to compromise your principles, that might be all right. <laughs> it's the same reason why no single form of government is problem-free. No single ideology is problem-free. No single set of principles are problem-free. And it's figuring out the balance of things. Let's say if there's a governmental set of principles you believe in that if it was implemented would cause widespread misery and starvation, well, maybe you should question your principles a little bit. So, <laughs> and we all know that these feminists need to question their, these SJW feminist fundamentalists definitely need to question their principles a little bit. They're completely out of touch with reality, so. But you know, I better check my privilege, right?